our project will be basically an npm package I uh, already gonna ahead and uh, add the dependencies that we need for now which is mainly react react dom and react router and of course uh, babel and all if it's uh, it's loader and then we have also uh, webpack so to install that we quit here and then we do npm install this will take some time now that everything is installed we need to configure webpack to be able to build our application to do that let's create webpack dot config dot js this will be basically a module so we do module exports and then we set it to an empty object first we define our entry point which will be in src and xgs and then we configure the output so file name will be in static main dot bundle dot js and the path will be static we also tell webpack that we need a source map and then we specify our loaders so we do module and then inside of that we have the loader property which will be an array of basically one loader which is the babel loader so anything that is dot js ending with dot js will be will go basically through um, the bubble loader so here we exclude the node modules we don't want that to go through the bubble loader and then here we do loader and then we specify bubble and then to add our presets we create a query here and then we give it a preset an array of presets which we say ds 2015 and react that should basically be it for now we save and quit now that we configured our webpack let's create the entry point to our app which is the uh, index.js inside the src folder so let's do that and basically we'll be importing a react from react and then importing the render method from React DOM. And here we call render. So for now we will render a H1 saying hello world. Just to see if our if, if like if everything is running, so and then we query selector a main tag that we defined in our index uh, HTML, and then here we save and quit. So let's create our index HTML. 
which is basically it will be super basic HTML like so and here we're specifying that we need this main we include this main uh, bundle.js let's hit save and quit this uh, now to test uh, let's add a script a script property in our package so let's add a script tag here just basically running the webpack dev server so let's save and quit and now if everything is fine the server should be running so let's test this so we do uh, npm start and everything should be fine let's open the browser here and then specify that we want uh, this uh, website and yeah as you can see here now it's the hello world so to review uh, we did install our dependencies created an entry point to the website and then configure webpack to run it 